Hello, well, I made it here. So today's video is gonna be all about my racing here and what I've learned with my car and what I need to do to improve. Um, probably gonna to need to do lots to improve, but we'll see how it goes this evening. Um, I'll show you some racing and we'll go through the final results and go from there. Here we go, there's some fast boys on the track now. Things hadn't got much better by this point, but I was enjoying my racing anyway. So there we have it, the final results of the night. You can see it wasn't really my best result, but it was okay, halfway down the field uh, for my very first time racing that type of car on that type of track. So I've got lots to do, but I've got some areas to improve. As you can see from the results, it was basically my blue lane run that really hurt my overall time and I could have moved up another position. But something really weird happened on blue lane Pendle Slot Racing Club have a live start and if you jump the start it gives you a time penalty. Now on Blue Lane I was there sitting at the start and all of a sudden my car moved forward. I definitely didn't touch the trigger but it just jumped forwards so therefore I got a jump start. 
Now, when the power came back on for my lane again, the car moved all on its own. And I crashed lots of times on the first lap until all of a sudden it just seemed to go away. So whether or not it was a dodgy plug connection, something weird happened and that cost me a couple of laps. I'd like to say thank you very much to Nick Hurst who let me have a go of his winning car at the end of the evening. And I can certainly tell it was much better than mine. So I had a good look over it and I've learned a lot from taking a look at that car. So I'm going to be implementing some improvements to mine and I'm going back next time and seeing if I can improve. If you recognise that legend of a slot racer is starring in this video, give us a comment, let us know who he is. He truly is a British slot car racing legend. Thank you for sticking with me through this series so far. Notice it's not over yet. I've got some improvements to make and I've got more racing to do. There's always room for improvement. See you again soon.